I do like to do uh, different things. Uh, you know, even in, in my writing, going all the way back, I, I don't like to write the same story over and over again. I did, I did in my early years, I did science fiction stories, I did fantasy. Um, I would do some criticism and journalism occasionally. I did some horror, so I'd write different things. Um, these days, of course, my life has gotten very complicated. I mean, I, I have uh, um, a role on all of these television shows, um, Game of Thrones, which has wrapped up, but we are developing prequel shows, successor shows. And I also have an overall deal with HBO to be a producer on other shows with them uh, that are not part of my own universe, but like I'm, I'm working uh, with Nettie Okorafor to develop Who Fears Death, her classic award-winning Afrofuturism novel for a HBO series. So I'm working on that. I have some other projects. And in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where I live, I have a, I have a non-profit foundation. I have a movie theater that, uh, that I own, a little small art house. Um, and I have various other endeavors that I'm in. So it's all, it's all time consuming and I like that. But when it comes to writing, I can really only write one thing at a time. I mean, I have writer friends who will simultaneously do three or four different projects. They'll, they'll work on one novel in the morning, they'll work on a short story in the afternoon that's completely unrelated, in the evening they'll work on a screenplay. I cannot do that. I immerse myself completely in the uh, fictional world that I'm writing at. What I can do is I, I can do, I can write something and then I can do non-writing tasks, you know, so maybe I'll write all morning and into the afternoon and then in the evening I'll do, I'll do email, I'll talk with my agent, so I'll do some editing work on a wild cards book, I'll do some work that's necessary for the foundation or the theater or whatever, but non-writing. I can only write one thing at a time. That, that's the work that engages my imagination where I really have to fall through the page and live it. And then, then I can juggle the other tasks. It's easier to, to edit or to act as a producer or to act as the proprietor of the theater or the, the director of the nonprofit. So those are emotionally, intellectually, those, those feel completely different to me than writing. I was just wondering, how do you deal with this situation right now? So you've been part of the TV series Game of Thrones that's been wrapped up. We know the end. The world knows the end. You well, mean, they know a end, and and you a know, end, you're right. They got ahead of they got ahead of me, which I didn't expect. But I'm doing what I've been doing for years, and still trying to finish Winds of Winter, and then after that, a Dream of Spring. So those those will be my things, and then. Then we'll see.